Hi pen friends, this is Sarah and my daughter Eve and we're going to be doing a response video to another um, YouTube fountain pen video creator named Devin. She created a tag called fountain pen addict tag. So there are 10 questions that she wants us to answer and Eve and I are both going to answer. Okay, so the first question is how long have you been using fountain pens? Uh, I think like two years. Okay, and I've been using them for about seven years, I would say, because I started about a year before Eve was born. Yeah. And um, I, was born. I really got into watching fountain pen videos when Eve was a baby and I was sitting um, feeding her for hours on end, so I would watch lots of um, SBRE Brown videos and that really got me into the hobby. And the other part of question one is, why did you start? So why did you start using fountain pens? Because like you use them and like I wanted to be more like connected Aww, with them. You're so such a sweetie. sweetie. Uh -huh. Well, I started using fountain pens because I wanted to have more control over what color ink I was using. And I really love um, green inks, so that's why I started. Yeah, because like green and purple are her favorite colors. Yeah. Spoiler. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the second question is, which do you own more of, fountain pens or fountain pen ink? How about you? I think uh, I have ten fountain pens. Yeah. And zero fountain pen ink. Okay, so you own more fountain pens than fountain pen ink. And zero, zero, zero. I like own my eye. 55 fountain pens and 75 bottles of ink. Ooh. So I own more ink. I guessed ink. correctly. You did? <laughs> so I guessed you add more ink than That's probably pens. more than anyone really needs, but I do enjoy all of them. I, I all right. Cute. Um, the third question is, what is the best thing about using fountain pens? What do you think? I think it's because like, like you can change like the color of ink a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that too. Um, I also really enjoy how fountain pens feel when I'm writing and how the um, ink makes a liquid line on the paper and just watching that ink move on the paper and then dry and how beautiful the ink is. Um, okay, question four. What is your least favorite thing about using fountain pens? Because like you have to point like the top of the nib exactly upwards. Yeah. And like when I just tried to like if I like made a mistake in my drawing, I would usually twist it, and then it won't work. It can be a little challenging to get the nib in the right direction. Yeah. I think that's why Dada doesn't like using fountain pens. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, the thing that I don't like is um, I would have to say like when ink gets on things that I don't want it to, because ink can be. Um, pretty messy and it can stain things so that that can be a downer. Um, once I was using a fountain pen on a plane and I know that's kind of dangerous and I got a little bit of the ink on my pants and that was not fun. I, luckily I was able to like get the ink out by using some water but I, I like scrubbed it really quickly. Um, yeah that can be a little disturbing. And also remember when like you had ink, like a fountain pen in your pocket, and Dad put it in the laundry, and then like oh, all, a... and then like everything got yeah, spots on it. That wasn't a fountain pen though. That was a ballpoint pen. Oh. But yeah, that can be a problem with pens in general, getting ink on your clothes. Okay, let's go to question five. Do you own any vintage fountain pens? No. I own three vintage fountain pens, and if you go to my channel, um, <laughs> okay, Scooby, let's not get too distracted by our bunny. Um, if you go to my channel, you can look for my video on vintage fountain pens. Um, 
All right, so question six. What are your top three favorite fountain pen inks? Do you have any fountain well, favorite fountain pen inks? Well, I have only one and it's Smart Dog Digital. I brought it over to show. So this is Eve's favorite. She's always and she's always liked how that looked um, whenever I wrote with it, and so. She and was also, using that on my too. first one, I said that it was that my favorite was Aqua Lagoon, yeah, but it's her, actually Smudog Lagoon. Yeah. I made a mistake. <laughs> In her first video with me, she said her favorite ink was Aqua Lagoon, and I knew it was Smudog Lagoon, but um, I didn't correct her in that video. They're, they're kind of similar. Kind I of think she likes both of them. So my top three favorite um, fountain pen inks are all green inks because I love writing with green. And, and purple. So I picked out um, my three like most different greens that I really enjoy. So this is Robert Oster Bronze. It, it, and it's kind it of a brownish like a... green, which I like. And my, another favorite of mine is Diamine Evergreen. And that one's like an evergreen color. It's a dark green, but not too dark that it looks like black. It's really pretty. And then my other favorite green is Private Reserve Cadillac Green. And that's sort of a teal color, I would say. But it's oh, really I, pretty. I love teal. Yeah, so that's a pretty one too. So those are all um, really different greens, but I enjoy lots of different greens, except oh, for like greens. bright slime or um, you know, ones that are Floopy too bright, greens. I don't really like that much. Yeah, floopy green is my <laughs> favorite green. Okay. Like, the br like floopy is like bright pink, but like bright green, like floopy. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Seven, what is your holy grail fountain pen? So one that if you could buy any fountain pen in the world, what would that fountain pen be like? Wait, wait, I changed my answer. Okay, go ahead and say it. No, can you just say a regular type of fountain pen? Well, like, if there was any, like, special Easter fountain pen with bunnies on it and, like, Easter things on it, then I would want that one. Yeah. Holy girl. <laughs> that would be her favorite. Anything with bunnies on it is her favorite. Yeah, anything. Um, Even our bunny. I would yeah, say that <laughs> my Holy Grail fountain pen right now would be a uh, faceted Etruria by Stipula in the um, Fiasole celluloid. Um, there were very few of those made and they're beautiful. I would love to have one of those. Um, okay, question eight. What is the worst fountain pen you've ever tried? Like... Have you ever tried one that you didn't like? <sighs> I, I can't decide. Like, no. You might not have ever tried any really bad ones because I usually pick out what you use and I would never have you use something that I didn't think was a good pen. Yeah, like, yeah. so like, I, I can't really choose. Okay, like, you don't have to choose. choose. I chose one. This is the Monteverde Piquito. Piquito! So it Piquito. is a cute, tiny little pen. <laughs> Um, but so I was really disappointed in Can it. I touch it. It isn't big enough to hold a um, a regular converter. I did buy this tiny little Tobacco Swayze converter, but it didn't work very well. And with the, it can hold a short international cartridge, but the ink flow wasn't very good, and so I had troubles with it starting up. So I, I would you? say so that's the worst. And I also, I've taken it apart, so it's not really, um, I'm not sure I put it back together correctly. But in order for it to be long enough to use, you have to post it. And when I posted it several times, the paint flaked off the back. So I was pretty disappointed with that. I mean, it is cute, and I like the texture of the can, paint. Can I touch it? Um, but touch other than that, I mean, I just can't yeah, use it anymore, I know. Well, can so. I use it? Um, you, we could try sometime, but, yeah, it's tiny. Well, maybe we can get it working again, like, but, I, like um. Like, sm smaller than come already. Yeah, it's a tiny pen. I thought it looked cute, but it's it didn't work very well. It's a tiny. Okay, like so, question nine. 
What is your most recent fountain pen edition acquisition? So what is your newest pen? This one. Yeah, what is this that one? Space Invaders fountain pen from 1951. Yeah. That's an old fountain pen. No, it wasn't made in 1951, but the company that made it is called Retro 51. And mm -hmm. so it's got the number 1951 on there. So this is a um, tornado, a tornado <laughs> invaders pen. And she's really been enjoying that one. And my most recent acquisition is the Stipula Suprema in the amber celluloid. And it's got a big ink window there. And it's got a 1.3 millimeter um, I feel like the ink nib. is going to fall on me. It's got a really wonderful stub nib that's 18 karat gold. And it's like carrots for a bunny. Not like carrots for a bunny, but it's um, two-tone <laughs> nib. <laughs> and bunny, bunny carrots. It has that kind of vintage look that I really enjoy. That clip that's um, just like the one on my um, Tibaldi and Pero. It's got the clip very similar to that. And the celluloid is really pretty. All right, just a few more. Are you hanging in there? <laughs> yeah. I think you're I'm like getting, getting crazy. He's getting crazy. And I'm um, also getting distracted by my yeah. bunny. Okay, we've only got a few more questions. Cute. Do you think you can do it? Mm -hmm. Um, actually, we've only got one more question. Question 10. If you had to start over, what fountain pen would you repurchase first and why? Do you have a pen that you would yeah, buy as your first pen? This one. That one. She's been really, really happy with that one. So I think Because, like, it's Space Invaders, and Space Invaders is my favorite game. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I, like, this is is my most recent fountain pen yeah. and I don't want to lose the one that I just got. No. You understand, right? <laughs> so our most re recent acquisitions are often our favorite ones. Um, I would say that if I started all over again, I'd still want to start out um, slowly and learn to really appreciate cheaper pens and before I got into more expensive ones. And so I would choose the Pilot Metropolitan I, it took me a little while to um, buy a Pilot Metropolitan. It wasn't my first pen that I got um, because I didn't think it looked that great, but it's a classic looking pen and this one has held up really well. I also had um, purchased the White Tiger one and I did have chipping in the paint of that one, um, but this one has held up well and I like how this um, decorative band kind of just blends in with the rest of it as opposed to some of the other styles. Um, other people might like the more patterned ones, but I prefer this one that's all one color and it's just a nice shiny silver. And um, also, when I started collecting pens, they didn't have the fine nib available, and so I do prefer the fine nib. So if I started all over again and the fine nib was available, that's what I would get. Um, it's still a really useful pen for me. I use Noodler's X Feather in it, and um, it's a good size for like addressing envelopes, and it's just really useful for filling out forms and stuff like that. So I still appreciate this pen, even though I have much fancier ones now, and I'm glad that I kind of um, started off with this towards the beginning of my collecting. All right, well, thank you for watching. I'm and getting hungry. She's getting hungry again, which happens a lot, as you can tell. Yeah, because so, I'm um, always hungry. I'm like an endless pit. She's like an endless pit. That's so we're going to say goodbye for now, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks Bye. for joining us. Bye. Bye.